The year is 1974. The picture is a low-budget film titled The Lords of Flatbush, and it gives work to a number of unknown actors, including Henry Winkler, Susan Blakely, Perry King, and a 28-year-old named Sylvester Stallone. And then Stallone hit it big, starring in his own screenplay of the boxer Rocky Balboa, for whom going the distance meant more than just winning the fight. Stallone returned to Rocky again and again after that, but his success allowed him to try other films, such as Fist, First Blood, and Rhinestone. This is closer to me than anything I've ever done, because I, I'm really not a box, and I really don't run around with an M60 machine gun through the woods of Canada, you know, it, that, that is a character. This, the personality, Shadings is, is closer to me. I mean, the ad libs and I think the jokes and the absurdity. Because we do, uh, at least I do, have a, a real s different slant on life, a real kind of like odd outlook. And finally, we've got a format for it. 20 years since a little known actor named Sylvester Stallone stepped into the ring and created one of the big screen's most famous characters, Rocky Balboa. But Rocky is history, and Stallone today is one of Hollywood's A-list stars. In his latest project called Daylight, he plays a rescue worker determined to save a handful of survivors trapped inside New York's Lincoln Tunnel. The hell would we go? Go! The hell would we... I hate when that happens. This is how you make a pizza. <laughs> A sly pizza, right? <laughs> Sylvester Stallone, nice to see you. Thank you, thank you. This is an exciting movie uh, with sort of all sorts of scenes like that. How grueling was this movie to make? This, was, this was a tough, a tough one, it really was, Kitty. It was uh, uh, completely underground, so you never saw daylight, to say, to say the least. Uh, even though they, they shot in Rome for economic reasons, they said, oh, great, Rome, we can see the Colosseum, all these beautiful artifacts on the way to work. No. We became kind of like uh, a group of Ralph Cramdens and Ed Nortons. We were underground the whole time. We were like mole people. We were mole people. Yeah. And what we didn't uh, expect, at least reading the script, is the amount of gas and fumes and asbestos and flames. And, and it, the Italians don't quite have the same kind of safety regulations we have, so anything goes. You've seen the fights behind the scenes at many of your favorite reality shows, but nothing compares to the fights at the heart of The Contender, the new NBC program entering the primetime ring tonight. Take a look. The Contender is about the lives, loves, hopes, dreams, and fears of 16 heroes as they battle it out in a quest to become a champion. They come from across America, each with a different story to tell. Some in this corner, Sylvester Stallone and Ray Leonard. Welcome, guys. Good Thanks. to see you. Thanks. Sly, looks like you've been boxing. You're all... Oh, <laughs> you're not, I'm trying to keep up with the young blood over here. You're all bulked here. out here. Look well, at you. you know, it's... Uh... It's tough, it's tough to keep up with these boys. Ball. You know, I, I, watching the trailers for this show and the human drama, it obviously makes you think about the Rocky yeah, series. Is that much. what attracted you to it? It, it is. Uh, the human drama. Uh, boxers are boxers. I mean, if you want to see great fighting, see ESPN, Showtime, HBO. But stories behind the men is what has always attracted me. And that's what the show is about. Thank Most you. people think you'll be nominated for an Oscar for this performance. Yeah. What would it mean to you at this point in your career to win another Oscar? It would be absolutely extraordinary. It, it really would be such a validation that this character has, has meant a lot to so many people. And, and it would be great to uh, <laughs> show my daughters <laughs> what I do for a living. It would be nice that it, it turned out really good. Also, it's kind of a, a full circle. Really. You know, we, we come all the way back to... Um, to something that you thought was gone, yeah. you know, really, and, and yet it works for another generation seeing through a young man's eyes that this character really, you know, it's, it's kind of human. It, we all go through a certain kind of mortality fight. Once an athlete moves on, then the real, real event of living comes into play and, and how does it turn out? And quite often it's a struggle. So that's what I thought was so amazing. And I didn't realize it the first time. I thought, oh, I don't know. Rocky's 
getting sick fatally, maybe dying. I say, couldn't it be a neighbor? <laughs> maybe maybe Bert Young gets sick. I know. I'm sick. We were actually thinking, can we bring Pauly back? And, he's, <laughs> and I'm bringing him soup. And go, it's okay, Pauly. I know what you're going through. Because, no, you don't. You don't. You know? and, I, and I says, no. It, it, seriously. Now, Stallone's new competition show is appropriately called Strong. It follows 10 women as they push themselves to the limit, transforming their minds, bodies, and even their souls. I'm coming to get you. On screen, few are stronger than Sylvester Stallone. Another gap. Now he wants to inspire that strength in us. Go! As executive producer of the new NBC reality show, Strong. It pairs 10 ordinary women with top male trainers to compete in challenges that transform their bodies and push them to new heights. There are a lot of reality shows that involve people losing weight. What makes this one different? Well, I, I think that there's been such an emphasis on weight loss, but not, not just building the other aspects of the mind, body, and soul. So that strong, it's not just physical strong, it's up here. For Stallone, it's been a really amazing year. His hit film Creed winning him a Golden Globe and Oscar nomination. All this critical acclaim, I mean, are you just still pinching yourself that this is all still happening? I just, or? Can't I just slap the hell out of myself. <laughs> Wake up. I've always started out kind of like with somewhat of an inferiority complex. And so I think that's overcoming, 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 concrete, and then, you know what, I don't know if I... Uh, can I do it again? I'm a scaredy cat, okay? You want to hear it? <laughs> I never would have guessed that. <laughs> you get, that's, that's motivation, okay?